Well, all I can say is, because I don't know enough about, you know, you know the, the, the politics, um, for want of a better term, all I can say is, is through my experience um, to date um, with this inquiry, is that it's been working hard for some time now, and I just don't see how you can pull up the drawbridge, no. because that's just going to unleash more questions, more controversy, and it will just take us all back to where we were a couple of years ago, which was a very unhappy and unsatisfactory place. And uh, I don't think anyone would really want to go there. And the answer is, is to allow the inquiry to get on with the job that it has. One of the themes I've picked up with you over the years now is that your English lawyer in the, the Lion's Den of Jersey was a separate jurisdiction. In the UK, would the Law Society or would any powerful group of lawyers be campaigning for such an inquiry to go ahead, give them the money? Would they be saying, oh, obviously, they stand to win some fees, but the, from a public interest point of view, would lawyers say that? Well, I'm not aware of any precedent of this situation arising where there's this issue as to whether or not, having started the inquiry, we ought to stop it. Um, I can't. I, I can't think of um, a similar situation before. Um, as I said right at the very beginning, inquiries, whether we like it or not, are expensive um, because of the work that they have to do, and that has to be accepted. And I think the answer is that you keep an eye on the budget. You keep an eye on the expenditure to make sure that what you've asked to be delivered by way of this inquiry is being delivered yeah. in a cost-effective manner. But it, that, that relies upon a sanction of some point. It's some, if the money, they say, oh, you're wasting money, we're not going to fund that aspect of the inquiry. So well, you you never get, but you shouldn't get into that position. No. You should know, you should be able to plan and you should be able to budget. You shouldn't get yourself into this situation where you're thinking you're going down a particular track and then find you're going down another track. That just that shouldn't happen. What do you think, Bob G? Is it, is it all, is the debate going to be about the money? Is that all it's going to be about? Ostensibly, it will be about the money. I mean, it has to be, that, that's what's being asked for, but it's not just going to be about the money. Um, it's going to be about the old arguments of those who don't want a committee of inquiry for various different reasons. Um, I think the, the interesting thing is that you've never really heard um, some of these people talk about how expensive lawyers are until they're on the receiving end having to pay the, the Jersey prices for lawyers, even though we know that there's a review going on. Um, I think the other question which maybe Alan can, can help with is that I think the, the, there needs to be a separation of the actual cost of the committee inquiry versus the legal costs for the, each department. So when the health department is engaging with the committee of inquiry, they have control to a large extent about how they're represented and whether they want all, all uh, legal representation. One example is when they prevaricate for such a long time handing the documents over and then were finally forced to hand them under, over under duress, that was a lengthy process which didn't need to be gone through and which no doubt would have cost the taxpayer uh, a lot of money which didn't need to be spent and, and that's not something that is the fault of the Committee of Inquiry, it's the reticence of that particular department. And of course, unfortunately, each of those departments has got a minister who's a politician or an assistant minister. They all have an involvement, don't they? So if they are reluctant to have papers brought forward, it's... Uh, so, I, I don't know, I mean, I, I might be naive in this, but I would ask the question, are there instances when the departments perhaps um, uh, 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 overusing legal representation, perhaps when they don't need it, um, and could that save money? I don't know. Well, it comes back to um, planning and budgeting and making sure that you're, everyone knows what path they're on and not find themselves at somewhere else where they shouldn't be. So, as regards my position, as regards the inquiry in the Jersey Care Leaders Association, I'm on a very tight leash as to what I'm allowed to do. Um, there's um, agreed work plan and I have to work to that particular plan and I'm not allowed to deviate from it. So um, I know exactly where I stand, whether I like it or not. That is what I've got to work to on behalf of um, 
you know, the client that I have to represent at the inquiry. Um, and my appearances um, at the inquiry are very limited because it's not necessary for me to be there. Um, I can go online because you know, the inquiry's got this um, online system so you can see the evidence, um, you can read the transcripts, you can look at the evidence live as it's, as, as it's happening. And I can do that from um, my office. I don't need to physically turn up to the inquiry unless it's absolutely necessary. And that's a way of keeping costs really, really in check. Um, the technology is there, but avoids me having to turn up um, because I can be in my office and look at the evidence. You represented initially 50 or 60 uh, people who experienced sex abuse. What are they... What's their, what's their feeling? Now this has come out of the express view. Well, there's, you know, clearly there are, we like with all of these things, there are very much mixed feelings. Um, um, but I think the general sense is, look, you've started this inquiry, um, you better complete it. Yeah. What do you think, Monty? Well, you're part of the only Jersey political party. Has your party got one view on it? If they say 20 million, you vote for it. 50 million, you vote for it. Have you got a formula for party view on it? I think it's not, it's not about the money, that's the point. We know that committees of inquiry cost uh, money, and I, I think it's because actually so many are coming forward. So it's, if you like a victim of its own success, it's a good, it's a good thing in that, in that sense. Um, and yeah, but I think the other point is it's the reputational damage to the island, um, but both um, as, a, as an industry, you know, um, Jersey thrives on its stability, we're told. And if we were actually to be saying, actually, we've got no money, we're bankrupt, we're a poor little island, um, what's the next step? I mean, the committee being, would we go to the UK, as I've suggested, and um, not suggesting, I'm not advocating it, but I'm saying the only alternative would be to say, I'm afraid we've run out of money, we know we've got a structural deficit, Jersey's basically on the point of financial collapse, um, can you come and help us out with the inquiry? I mean, that, that's probably not the kind of message the finance industry... Well, the new bailiff was very keen to promote the... to re rework the expression, the Jersey way, and he wanted credibility and the rest of it. He wanted these things to be seen worldwide, didn't he? That's what he wanted. He wanted the Jersey reputation to be re-established. Re yeah. So to negate on this promise would seem the opposite way, wouldn't it? I, I think so, and I think that the, the problem is, it, it, without going into a different area, it's the Jersey's financial context about we know that we're on the verge of a structural deficit, we know we've got a structural deficit, although some are in denial about it. The tax and spend system is essentially broken and um, you know, for, for this to land on certain states' members' desks just simply highlights that even further. We should be able to afford things like this um, when necessary um, and, and if we can't it raises fundamental questions about Jersey's financial situation. Well, is there anything else you want to say, Alan? Well, I'm sure Jersey will arrive at the right decision. Well, let's hope so. <laughs>